Good evening. Um, I'm going to show you this Echo Mirage business. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, the old one was cool, but it likes to crash a lot. Um, this one's way cooler because it doesn't crash much. I haven't seen it crash yet, which is good. I like that. Okay, so uh, I can't really show you um, a, a, a fantastic way of when to use this, but I'm sure you're smart enough to use your own nugget. Uh, in this case, we're just going to use Outlook. Uh, Echo Mirage uh, will basically get its dirty hooks into an application before the encryption takes place within the application, uh, being uh, enabling you to uh, view unencrypted information prior to encryption. So you can you can view HTTPS traffic. Um, so if you are doing a test on an ad application um, and you can't push that application's uh, uh, connections through proxy for whatever reason, you can use Echo Mirage. Uh, you can see what it's requesting, what's coming back, and you know you might want to try and replay those requests in in you know in Burp Suite or whatever. That's up to you. Whatever. Show up. So, um, so what we can do is you can either um, execute and load, or you can just inject. So execute will say I want to load up Outlook and I want to um, put my dirty hooks in, um, and it'll do that. Or you can inject if it's already running. Uh, this is running as an elevated. Uh, user so it's running as an administrator on this Windows box. You, there's a, a less privileged uh, version you can execute as well, but obviously there's, uh, I imagine there's uh, an impact of running it uh, as a latter user with less permissions. I don't know what that is. Uh, so we're injecting into Outlook, and we're, the idea is in this example is that we're going to just um, pretend that I can't be asked doing a password reset and I've lost my password. Uh, but I can still send and receive email. Okay. If I click send, and then we'll keep an eye on what's going on here. It's doing some cool connecting to Google shit. A request from my IP address. At some point, it's going to want to uh, ask me for. Yep, so there's some authentication stuff coming up. So I reckon it's going to ask me for my password and uh, username. There it is. So a Comarize example and p a s s dot w zero i d one is my password. There we go. That was easy. I've got my username and password now. I can get on with my life. And we've just got to press OK a shitload of times until it's finished. And in the background, you'll probably see there's a little button key thing that's happening. There we go. Let's get it out of there. So we don't really need to see all this now. Just wasting your time. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still sorry. You know what? I'm just going to stop it. You get the idea. Uh, Echo Mirage. Uh, you can download it from. Not Facebook. You can download it from not Facebook. <laughs> Come Mirage, there we go. Wildsoft security. Wildcroft security, sorry. Sorry. And, and also while you're there, check out SureCheck. There's a trial for it. It does really nice uh, stuff for build reviews. I'm not affiliated with these guys. I think I know the guy's called Dave, that's about it. Uh, there we go. You can get it from there. Have a nice day.